Self-proclaimed citizen journalist Greg Hall has documented oil on Pensacola Beach since the first landfall. You know, I grew up here my whole life. I surfed here, snorkeled, dove, fished, everything. I know this beach like the back of my hand. He says the sugar white sand he's always known is being replaced. You know, I mean, that's what we've been known for forever, you know, is the sugar white sand, you know, and the sand they're bringing in is like sandbox sand. Beach officials insist the change in sand consistency is just a natural occurrence. What happens is when the tide comes in at night, it carries, it might carry some residue in on the beach. But Greg Hall says that's not true. I know the difference between tide action and when somebody's dumping fresh sand on the beach. Greg Hall says officials are denying that they're taking away Pensacola's white sugary sand and replacing it with sand of a different consistency and color. But when you put the two sands side by side, it's hard to deny that they look very different. Hey guys, this is Greg with your Daily Beach Report. Someone in New Jersey saw Greg's videos online and said the sand is being shipped from the East Coast. I, I stopped one of the drivers and I was talking to a driver and the one driver told me he says he couldn't really disclose too much information to me. He said it was an emergency emergency shipment going down to the Gulf. Are they bringing in new sand? No, uh, the contractors are bringing in uh, crushed rock to support their vehicles, their heavy equipment that they're operating on the island. Despite the denials from beach officials, this independent journalist will continue to fight the only way he knows how. Yeah. That's what just washed up on my feet. This is my home and uh, I'm not going to take it laying down. I'm not going to let them cover it up. I'm not going to let them get away with destroying an entire ecosystem without the world knowing about it. Lauren Styler, News 5.